morning, welcome to weekly vlog number two. I hope you enjoyed weekly vlog number one. It hasn't gone up for me yet and I'm actually like extremely nervous. <laughs> Hopefully you enjoyed it. Today is obviously Sunday, it's the 17th of July and today is a race for life. So my park and my car park is packed compared to how it normally is on a Sunday morning. Normally, it's like me and about three other cars and that's about it. But today, there is a queue for the ticket machine. Oh look, there you go, race for life, ta-da! So yeah, I have to walk part of the way, I think, like the bus doesn't go to my normal stop, so I've got to walk part of the way, but that's fine. Daily exercise, it's so warm today, I really don't know why I've got this jacket on. I think it was like, it was 27 degrees yesterday when I was driving home, and this morning, it's like already 22, so I think it's gonna get really hot again today, so I'm gonna take my jacket off. I feel like I'm gonna be sweating by the time I get to get to work but I think we're going to Starbucks for breakfast or Costa this morning so I'm excited about that so I'm going to go fight the crowds to get to work and speak to you later. Oh my goodness me I'm roasting! This has to be done right now. Oh my god, my button's like burning my finger. Okay. Ouch. It's so hot. I love it. It's 30 degrees, people. I'm thoroughly enjoying this. I wish I hadn't been sat at work all day. Let's go. So it's 30 degrees outside and mum decided it was a good idea to cook a roast dinner. What? <laughs> Not moaning though, because roast dinner is probably one of my favourite meals. Yes, it is. Okay, so I've just picked all of my nail polish off while watching Zoella's vlog. Does anyone else do that? Like, if one of your like nails comes off, you know what I mean? Not your actual nail, your nail polish. Does the rest? Do you have to get rid of the rest of it? Like, I can't have one nail that doesn't have nail polish. It all has to come off. Uh, so I'm gonna paint my nails now. I think. I think I'm gonna go red because I've had black nails for such a long time. I really like black nails. There's something about black nails that I just really like. Don't know why, don't ask me why. I just really like them. But yeah, it's really sum summery now and I think black is just not really summer. So I think I'm gonna go red. Done. And if you're wondering, the color that I've used is Scarlet Red by Sensational. And um, I've got their little LED lamp, although mine is broken um, because there was like a little base thing here. Uh, which I think stopped it from sensing anything, but now it that's broken and it senses everything So it kind of flashes so I have to make sure it's like all unplugged and stuff I am loving this hot weather It is definitely my thing. I really don't like the cold Mainly because it like flares me up and like, I spend most of the winter in pain. But <laughs> I'm a summer baby, like I'm born in August, so the heat is just, I love it. Also I really love summer clothes at the minute. A lot of the clothes that I've like recently bought have been for this weather and I haven't been able to wear it for so long. And now I'm getting really excited because I can like plan my outfit. For example, I spent today planning my outfit for tomorrow because it's all new things and it's really exciting and now I can wear them and I'm really excited. I just love it. Hello. It's now uh, 20 past nine <laughs> and I've just spent my evening after work editing, uploading and um, watching YouTube videos and I just watched um, Anna Sacconi's Anna Sacconi Jolie's, her most recent video, her Why I Quit YouTube video and it's, it really spoke to me. I will never understand why people think it's okay to put other people down. I'm a strong believer in you should never judge someone by what you see because people that suffer from mental illness problems oh wow <laughs> um people that suffer from mental illness problems become very good at hiding oh this is fun for my second vlog isn't it <laughs> as someone who suffered from multiple mental illness problems in my life i can honestly say that if you even if you know me 100 percent, you would not guess if i was having a bad day um, I'm so good at hiding it that you just wouldn't you just wouldn't know what's at all and I really think no matter what is going on in your life you should never take it out on someone else because something is going on in their life that's that they're struggling with and that they need to deal with and with and other people 
saying things or doing things to that person that could put them down or make them feel worse about themselves can really, really affect someone that has a mental illness. And mental illness is invisible. You don't know if someone has a mental illness issue. It's not like, it's not like um, if you've, I don't know, it's not like if you've got a skin disorder, you can't see it. It's, it's all inside, it's all in your brain. And I think I kind of, <laughs> the point I'm trying to make is, treat everyone else how you would want to be treated. On the days that you're having a down day, okay, you might not suffer from depression, or you might not suffer from anxiety, but everyone has their down days. On those days, you wouldn't want someone to say something horrible to you, or even like a sarcastic comment or anything like that, that you might not take personally, or you might like shrug off, but other people may not. Other people may take it to heart and it may play on their mind and it could affect them even more mentally. Think about what you're gonna say before you say it because it may have a completely different effect on someone else. Good morning, happy Tuesday. Today's my day off, yay. And I thought because I got so excited in the car today about my outfit that I would actually show you what my outfit is. So this is what I'm wearing. So it is a little white dungaree dress from New Look. It was in the sale, it was £9, um, which is kind of the main reason why I got it, because you can't really say no to a £9 dress. Um, and then the t-shirt underneath that I've got on is from Zara, but about um, three, four years ago. I've had it a very long time, but I really like it because the back you can see is scooped and it's just really comfortable it's really thin material and perfect for today's weather because apparently it's gonna get really hot and lovely and then yeah the dress is just like a perfect nice length for me um i've got a really short torso but long legs so i find it really hard to find dresses to fit because i've got quite a small waist i have to get a smaller size which obviously makes them shorter which makes it look ridiculously short on me um but this one's a really really nice length so i'm really happy and it has pockets and if you know me you know that i'm obsessed with pockets in anything if, if it has a pocket i'm gonna love it so yeah that's it i've got my pasty legs out as well because they need to get a bit of sun for them to look anything kind of like i've been outside i just don't get the sun very easily i don't tan very easily um, I'm a very pale person, I need to learn to embrace it, but that hasn't happened yet. Okay, so the plan for today is, I am filming with my brother and Kieran from Kissle Kicks 7. Uh, I think it's number 7. Um, we are filming today, I'm helping him film because he wants to use my camera, and I'm a little bit protective over my camera, it's kind of my baby. And it's my day off, so I'm going as well. So you'll probably get a few behind the scenes shots from their video together. They were filming last night as well. Um, so I think you've got a lot of videos coming from them together soon. I don't know when. Maybe I'll ask them later, but I don't know. Um, so yeah, that's my plan. But I'm really happy because we're going to be outside and it's such a nice day today. Look at this sunshine. Blue sky. It's not a cloud in the sky. I love it. Yes. And today is supposed to be one of like the hottest day of the year. And it's my day off, and that never happens, like, ever. We haven't even started filming yet, and I'm already, like, ridiculously hot and sweating. <sighs> First attempt at the video, how did it go? Badly. <laughs> <laughs> Very badly. <laughs> I think they're going to start again. Okay, while they change, I thought I'd take a second just to do a quick vlog. Can I just say, it's so nice here. Like, it's so, like, what's the word? Isolated. And there's like a little park over there. And it's just really, really nice. And actually, I'm really hot, but there's such a nice breeze. Although they're probably roasting right now. Because I think it's like 32 or 33 degrees and they're obviously running around. I'm not, I'm just stood there behind the camera doing my thing. I think they're just gonna film one more video and then we're done. And I think we're going to Nando's, which makes me very happy. My only concern right now is my camera because it's kind of just been stood out there for so long. It's so hot, like on top of it, it's ridiculously hot. 
Um, I hope it doesn't like damage it or anything. If it does, you're paying for it, boys. Buy me a new one. And we're done. And I am very, very sunburnt. Oh, can you see? I seriously need to go get some after sun, but we are going to Nando's now for chicken! 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 Food! So hungry. All I've had today is a bottle of cereal. It's literally it. A bottle of cereal, yep, and a bottle of water. So I'm very much, very much looking forward to some chicken. Guys, I'm so sunburnt, it's unreal. I don't know if you can see, I'm like all sunburnt here. My arms are, my legs are. Oh my god, it hurts so much. <laughs> Why? After Sun is my best friend today. That is definitely for sure. And I think I'm actually going to appreciate the aircon that we have at work rather than moaning that I'm cold. I am very much glad that today is over. I'm so ready to go home. Oh, I'm so uncomfortable. I've literally just been covering myself in After Sun all day. It's been in the freezer, so it's freezing cold. Um, it has started to get a little bit better, I think, but we've got a long way to go. <laughs> I also tried to park my car in the shade, which is pretty much impossible in this car park. Do you want to see my tree? My shade tree? This one right here. Oh, like, like, it's not even a tree, it's like more of a bush. Um, but I tried because, I don't know, having a black roof on the car kind of makes it get really like stuffy and hot in here throughout the day and you get in it you're like oh, oh, it's too much can't cope <laughs> so yeah i tried but it failed right now though there isn't a cloud in the sky though but i can smell rain like this video if you know what i mean when i say you can smell summer rain and i really like the smell of summer rain like it's one of my favorite smells ever oh my god there's the most adorable dog it's really cute. You can't see it though because there's people in the way. I'm gonna try and show you. Look, look, quick. Oh, it's a little westy, but it was like perfectly groomed with the perfectly pointy ears, the perfect white fur. Yeah, anyway, I digress. Yeah, summer rain. I think there's gonna be a storm soon, which makes me happy. Might not put the roof down on my drive home though, just in case. <laughs> so, no rain on my drive home, but it looks like I've missed it at home i'm gutted i wanted to see the thunderstorm <laughs> by the way if my voice is a bit croaky it's because i've been having a concert in my car on the way home again thumbs up this video if you do that too so i came home from work today to this i've been wanting to try one of these for so long like I always see that video on Facebook <laughs> of the girls doing it and I always wanted to try it and I think mum found this on some like discount group website thing um, but it was a lot cheaper than it should have been I think they're normally like £80 so I can't remember what we got it for but anyway it was cheaper than it should have been so I thought I'd order one um, and it arrived today but I'm more entertained by the instructions on the back of it because <laughs> I think they were translated from like Chinese or something but they're literally hilarious, look at this. So, you start like this. Keep the hair clean um, and neatly combed, please, before use. And you just think, okay, spelling mistake, okay, whatever. And then you keep breeding. <laughs> use the plug into the appropriate socket, keep electricity well. What? First switched on the set temperature, such as heated to the desired temperature. During use, you only need one hand to pull hair end with super fast straightener. If you exercise straightener more lasting effect, it must meet styling hair lotions and soften softeners. Please don't put too much hair. If put more in the control process, it will slow down the speed. The effect is obvious. <laughs> this product is a one hour auto off function if you can reboot what <laughs> like you you end up reading it like you're a robot because it makes no sense i think what they're trying to say is basically don't use a lot of hair when you're using it um because it doesn't work as well and it will turn itself off after an hour and you can just reboot it and it's quick to do i think <laughs> who knows 
Um, but I am really excited to use it. I'm, hopefully it's going to be good. I'm just really lazy when it comes to my hair and sometimes I can't be bothered to do it. So I'm going to see if this is any good, see if it speeds up the process. If you want me to do like a review on it, let me know in the comments down below. It would probably be quite interesting to review, to be honest. Hello, I hope you've all had a fabulous Thursday. It was kind of a normal Thursday for me, quite dreary and boring and a normal, a normal Thursday. But nothing much really happens. If you can't hear me very well, it's because I've had to put my aircon on because it's ridiculously hot in this car and I'm sweating. <laughs> Sun uh, burn update. My arms are going down. See? My chest is not. See? Thank you to Amy though for recommending um, Sudocrem. I like smothered myself in it last night and I woke up this morning and I think that's why my arms have gone down so much because it worked. Um, so I think I'm going to literally cover my sunburn here in it tonight and see what happens hopefully it will start to go down it's starting to get itchy and i'm trying so hard not to scratch it because i don't want it to like peel or anything nice tomorrow is my day off so i'm gonna go home have a shower it's, that's probably gonna be quite painful catch up on a bit of netflix and yeah just kind of chill i like to have a chilled evening before my like days off just so i'm like totally relaxed the next day so yeah See you at home. So I had to get up super early for work this morning and didn't get a chance to tidy my room and it looks like this. So much mess. I can't cope with it, I have to tidy it like now. This makes me a little bit happier. Good morning, happy Thursday, I was about to say, it's definitely Friday. Again, a really, really lovely day, and I'm off out today. I don't know how much I'm going to be able to vlog, so today may just be this little bit, or it may be a little bit more, who knows, um, we all find out. Uh, I just need to kind of tidy my bed, and then I'm off. Uh, I tried this out, actually, for the first time today. Mm, not too sure. I think I'm going to have to, like, have a bit more time to try it because I've been in a bit of a rush this morning so I haven't well really been able to try it properly um but I will try it when I've got a bit more time but I'm not I don't know we'll see today I'm wearing this dress which is from warehouse it's got pockets um I've got my coin um that was my granddad's and then just my little Dorothy Perkins sandals that is it, really simple. So yeah, might catch up with you later, might not. You'll see, I'll either see you later or I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> Bye. Good morning. It's Saturday. I hope you're all enjoying or will enjoy your weekend. <laughs> um, I'm working the whole weekend, so that sucks, but it's fine. I have a week off as of next weekend, so it's fine. I can deal with it. I had a really nice day yesterday. I went to Daniel's and we went to a friend's and just had a really relaxed kind of afternoon. Um, couldn't really get the camera out to be honest, it would have been, re it would have been really odd just to like pop out my phone and be like, oh, you used to be entertaining for a bit, because <laughs> it was just a really chilled, um, afternoon, but it was really, really nice, sat in the garden, and then in the evening, we started to watch Stranger Things on Netflix, it's actually so creepy, I've heard so many people, like, mention it recently, and I was like, I need to start watching it, but I've got so many things that I'm watching on my own, we needed something to watch together, so we picked Stranger Things and it really creeped me out and we only watched two episodes and I'm like, oh, it's really scary. It wasn't what I was expecting, that's for sure. But yeah, I highly recommend it, especially if you're into like creepy, um, scary, thriller, alien type things. Really good explanation there, Cara. Um, you'll really like Stranger Things on Netflix. Make sure you go and check that out. Um, as I said, I'm at work today. But it's meant to get really, really hot. So I might go sit out in the sunshine today. I haven't the last couple of lunches because of my sunburn. I haven't wanted to make it worse. But it seems to have kind of really settled down um, over the last 24 hours. So I might risk it for a chocolate biscuit and go and sit outside <laughs> in the sunshine. Because I miss sitting in the sun. I really want to sit in the sun. Also, I bit my lip this morning. don't know if you can see on camera. It kind of stings. 
and feels really strange but yeah anyway have a good weekend and i'll see you later i pretty much just got attacked by a wasp it was just chilling on my car actually it probably was a bee but it was just chilling on my car and it followed me from my car and i had to like do a little run <laughs> you know those circle runs that you do when you kind of go ah! and run in a circle i just did that <laughs> today is such oh falling down today is such a good day um i finished work at 4 30 today instead of six because i was owed an hour back from um my early start on thursday and then i only took half hour lunch so i could leave it like an extra half hour there's that wasp is back on my car literally go away why are you on my car it's really creepy anyway so yeah i'm gonna go home and i don't really know what i'm gonna do yes i do i'm gonna edit this vlog that's what i'm gonna do um so yeah i'm gonna go home edit the vlog might do it in the garden depends if i can see the screen i think i've attempted that before and i can't see the screen I'll try. Hello, I thought I would end the vlog in the garden because it's such a nice evening. And I said I was gonna edit in the garden, I didn't. I got home, sat on my bed and just started editing. So I didn't even make it to the garden. But yeah, I just wanted to say thank you so much for all the comments from last week's um, vlog. It's been so nice, the support has been incredible from friends and family and you guys. It's just been really, really lovely. I really hope you enjoyed this week's vlog. I think I'm getting a bit more confident now with filming. Um, I'm really, really enjoying it. Yeah, I don't really know what else to say. Give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. Thank you. If you're new, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss next week's. And don't forget to wait. Oh, a fly just landed on my hand. That was nice. Um, don't forget there is a video tonight as well. Um, as in Sunday night, not Saturday night, which is when I'm filming it. Anyway. There's a video at 6 p.m. later on today, um, and it is a outfit of the day video because I had help from the wonderful Pippa from Clashing Time in filming it. So, yes, I'm really I really like that video as well. I was really happy with how it all turned out. So, hopefully, you guys like it too. And look at all the pretty flowers, pretty flowers, and then the attempted vegetable patch in the background. But yeah, um, hope you all liked it. Give the video a thumbs up, and I'll see you next week. Bye.